in 2001, Marty Baron was the uh, newly appointed editor for the Boston Globe. Um, he had been brought in from the outside. Uh, he was from Miami. He was Jewish and uh, had been brought in by the, by the New York Times, who had newly acquired um, the Boston Globe. Uh, and so in many respects, he was really, uh, really an outsider. Part of what Marty was responsible for at the Globe, aside from uh, the investigation of the Catholic Church, was really trying to shift the coverage of the newspaper away from international events to making it more essential to its community and more of a locally responsible paper. Ironically, uh, a case that was relatively local had, you know, huge international repercussions. It seemed like that there was a benefit to Marty being from the outside, not being from Boston, which was a, a relatively insular community. Um, and to see that bigger picture, you know, uh, to, to, to pursue a story about the Catholic Church in a Catholic town may have taken a Jew from Miami. One of the most exciting aspects of, uh, of this project for me was, the, was to have the opportunity to, to take the train down to Washington and meet Marty Barron, who is now um, the editor of The, uh, uh, of the Post. Um, and is doing just as well there as he did it in Boston. And uh, it was just a real treat um, to get to spend time with him and to, to um, really understand what it is that he does. You know, this is a really ambitious project. Um, but as soon as I read the script, I knew that the bones were really good. That the story, it's such a great story. The timing of this story is really important. Um, what's happening to the American newspaper is, uh, is um, concerning. And um, meeting Marty and, and, and journalists like him, who I, who I really think are heroes, um, meant a lot to me and really um, motivated me to, to be a part of this story and to research what it takes. Uh, for these guys to do their job and to um, be in this film. These people, these journalists, are citizens in the society that they report on. And how personal sometimes a lot of these stories are. Um, I don't know what percentage of the Boston Globe was Roman Catholic or devout Roman Catholic when this story began to break. But that must have been incredibly difficult for them and the courage that it took and um, the commitment to reporting the stories as they find them is really remarkable. And it's an incredible service that I think that um, these guys um, offer. It's in his nature to take those things on. And it's one of the things that I really, really admire about him. And I, I think his, uh, his legacy as a journalist and as an editor will show, uh, uh, particularly with the Pulitzers and what he won those Pulitzers for, that he was willing to take on some very, very, very uh, intimidating people and organizations to get at the truth. And as painful as it was uh, to pry it out of them, and as scary as it may have been, uh, for him personally, I think we're all the better for it.